Hello everyone, I am the one and only, and there's no body I'd rather be. And welcome to part two of my Pokemon Blue Let's Play. L let's start off the Let's Play by um, saying Happy Easter everyone. Ha happy Zombie Jesus Day. And we're gonna, um, wh where we left off, last time we left off, we were here at the beginning of um, Route 3 on the way to Mount Moon. And um, I, I was going to start the Let's Play by going off, on, by battling some more trainers up here. But, I have a few things I need to take care of first. One of those things being, going back to Puget City. And, going back to Viridian Forest, most importantly. After all, you know, all my Pokemon healed, all my Pokemon should be healed. I'm going to go heal my Pokemon. Right, so, back into Viridian Forest. And they're on the track, on the look, on the track, on the we're tracking down an elusive Pokemon that has a very low um, appearance rate here in Viridian Forest. talking a bit louder than I normally am, that's because it's raining outside, and um, yeah, it's kind of loud when it rains here. Um, okay, um, so there's Pikachu, I don't want to, I don't want to knock him out, I want to try and catch him, so I'm going to try and throw a Pokeball, we'll see if that works. I have got four though, because I'm running out of money, I need to go catch him, I need to go battle some more trainers, oh no, oh, get bitten there Pikachu, come on. Oh, okay, do some growls, do, do, it's okay, if you do some growls, I might better, if I do tackle, I'm in a predicament because I want to try and catch a bit of tooth. Ah, okay, just try tackle. Ah, oh, don't kill it! Don't kill it! Don't kill it! Don't kill it! Yeah! Woohoo! Yellow! Okay, thunder shock me. Thunder shock me. Fine. Paralyze me. That's fine. Okay. Okay. Right. Now he's weakened. Pokeball, go! Come on, you little beauty. One, two, three. Oh! Come on! Really? Really? Easter's going all right, you know. I bought some. Uh, I, I was. I normally have Easter at home, but I'm stuck at university. So, um, well, not stuck at university. I'm, I made myself stay at university to, some, to get on with my work. Um, but yeah, Easter's going fine. I, I bought myself a Colin the Caterpillar, which is basically just an Easter egg caterpillar. It's in different sections and it's hollow and it's awesome. 
Yeah, but we caught Pikachu. There we go. <laughs> Talking about Easter. Um, yeah, Pikachu will be added. Pikachu! Uh, when several of these Pokemon gather, their electricity could build and cause lightning storms. So, what do we nickname Pikachu? I want to go for the nickname of Cheeks. Because he's, he's a cheeky little Pikachu. And it makes perfect sense why he's called Cheeks. Um, so, I want to go for Cheeks. Cheeks sounds kind of cute. Cheeks to Pikachu. I don't think of Ratty as well. Mousy. Uh, couple of... But I'm not really sure. So, I'm going to go for... I'm going to go for... I'm going to go for... I, I might go for... I'm going to call him Cheeks. Makes things easy. Go, for, go with the first thing that came into my head. Because I was going to call him Sparky, but then I just thought, oh, that just reminds me of the anime, because Richie in the Pokemon anime had a Pikachu called Sparky, and I was like, eh. So, yeah. Cheeks. Cheeks to Pikachu. That took ages. It took six minutes to find that Pikachu. Well, because I sped it up, but still, six. <laughs> we went for a lot of Caterpies and a lot of Metapods to find that Pikachu. But now we have a Pikachu, we can go through Mount Moon with like a breeze. So let's take Pikachu to go get healed up. And there's one more thing I want to do before we go to Mount Moon, which is go into the Pewter City Pokemon um, Museum. Because that's fun to have a look around and stuff. Uh, right, so Pikachu is now on our team, and we're gonna add Pikachu to the top. Because he's the weakest. He's level three. And then we'll then we'll move iPod down as well, because I want to get iPod evolved into um Butterfree soon. And get the gate to learn confusion as well, which could help against some Pokemon that come come against in the Mount Moon. So that'd be some that'd be fun. So we got Leonardo and Splinter. Because it's 50 quid to get into the Pokemon Museum for a ch children's ticket. It's 50 quid. So I bet make me use of it while I'm here. Would you like to come in? Yes, I would. Right, 50 quid. Thank you very much. 50 quid. I'm, 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 I used to call it Pokey Pounds, but it's like a. Uh, might as well just call it 50 quid. Bucks, but it all. Oh, the Americans call it 50 bucks. Uh, what's this? It's Aerodactyl. It's a fossil Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl. Fossil. A primitive and rare Pokemon. Ooh. That is one magnificent fossil. <laughs> he likes bones. And there's a Kud Kabutops. Kabutops, a primitive and rare Pokemon. You've literally copied and pasted the de item description just up there. Literally copied and pasted. Ooh, there's a Professor. We have a space exhibit now. Awesome. Uh, what's this? Meteorite that fell on Mount Moon. Moonstone? Interesting. Moonstone? What's so special about it? It's from the moon. Duh. July 20th, 1969. The first lunar landing. I bought a colour TV to watch it. Awesome. I like seeing the old recordings of the moon landing. It's like and stuff. That's really cool to see. Space Shuttle Columbia. What's this? I want a Pikachu. It's so cute. I asked my daddy to catch me one. Haha, <laughs> I have a Pikachu and you don't. Yeah, Pikachu soon, I promise. <laughs> I would give you mine, but nah. Do I ever go in this house? I don't think I ever went in this house. Oh, there's a pool. Oh. There's a Pokeball. Nidoran! Wow wow! Nidoran, sit! Nidoran are dogs? Um, a Pokemon's an outsider, so it's hard to handle. An outsider is a Pokemon that you get in a trade. It grows fast, but it may ignore an unskilled trainer in battle. If only we had some badges. <gasps> what a coincidence! You live in a town where there's a gym. Why can't you just go and get the... Okay, never mind. Uh, is it the Route 3 sign? Notice. Thieves have been speeding Pokemon fossils at Mount Moon. Please call Pewter Police with any info. But there's no, but there's no P 
Peter? There is no Peter Peelies. So where's what? Where's the making sense? H hello, you. Psst. Do you know what I'm doing? Yes. No. Hmm. My mum used to told me never to talk to strangers. Be yeah, sure I'll ask. No. What are you doing? I'm spraying repel to keep Pokemon out of my garden. Oh, pissed wasn't him going. Psst. It was him just. just it was the sound of the spray of repel. Right. Now we have Cheeks, new member of our team. It's time to leave Peter City. And go on to Route 3. Go up here. Hey, I met you in Virgin Forest. Did you? That's interesting. Cool. Did you get better in Virgin Forest? Or you still have the same Yeah, you still have the same as that Pokemon? Which are gonna be Caterpie, a Metapod probably, and another Metapod. But now we have time to train up Cheeks. We're gonna go Pikachu, no, we're gonna go Pokemon, and we're gonna switch to Pidge. Because I want Pidge to learn Peck. Peck would be an awesome move to learn right now. But now it's like a bit of gust. Because Pidgey don't learn a lot of. Um, they don't learn a lot of um, flying type moves very, very quickly and very early on. Which is silly, but they should. You know, they're flying types, they're Pidgey. They should learn them. They should have a flying type move, but they don't. Which is why I was thinking about catching a Spearow, but, uh, but if I remember correctly back in the days of Pokemon Red and Blue, Spearow could only be caught in Pokemon Red, while, while Pidgey was in Pokemon Blue. It is raining very heavily out there. So yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's kind of a... It's a wet Easter today. I'm trying to do a Let's Play here, Rain. Like Ray on my let's play. And now for the most infamous Pokemon trainer ever, who has the best line before any battle of all time. Hi, I like shorts. They're comfy and easy to wear. The words of a poet. The words of a genius. A boy before his time. Who stood up for what he believed in. In the pure sense that shorts are comfy and they're easy to wear. Wow, this, this, this youngster with the shorts, man. He's been powered by his shorts. It's about to use Ekans, which is a Pokemon we haven't seen yet, which is a poison type. I don't like poison types. It's just, it's just, it's just really annoying. Because what they, because they have poison sting, and it has the chance of poisoning you. And Ekans especially has Wrap, which immobilizes you for a couple of turns. Like can't move. Attack continues. Can't move. Attack continues. You can't move. It's just like what the hell? You're just stuck in this wrap. Like M and M, but you know, with lyrics and better. Oh, you're rapping me again! Oh, go away, Ekans. I don't like you. No one likes you. You have no friends. Quick attack, Spinter. Take him out. Come on. Uh, no, poison sting. Uh -oh. Okay, that did quite a lot of damage. Not too bad though. Another poison sting. Oh, one HP, come on! Down! Well on, Splinter. Took down that annoying Ekans. What, 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 um, what's his final words of wisdom? I don't believe it. I keep. I need to stop saying words of wisdom. In, in my previous video, I highlighted how many times I said words of wisdom. In like a five second, five minute interval. Like five minutes. And how many times I said it? I think I said it four times. I think it was four times. In the whole let's play, I need to stop saying that. Every day I'm gusting. Oh, and well, no, I should switch. Oh, it's a metapod. But wait a minute. Did metapod? Wait a minute. Did, did, did everyone hear that? Did everyone hear that? That was amazing. Metapod came out, but the sound effect was the sound effect of a ghastly coming out. 
That was that was really weird. I didn't know. Wow, that's that's kind of odd. That's I've never. Everyone heard that. That wasn't just me that heard that. Ghastly came out instead of Metapod. That was really that was really weird. The sound effect for Ghastly, for Ghastly came out instead of Metapod. <laughs> I know what I did there. Maybe I just pressed the wrong button at the same time it came out, and maybe it did something. Uh... Uh, let's get rid of that. Beep boom, beep boom, beep boom noise. So it all drained into our skulls. Ghastly pod. <laughs> yeah, it's a ghastly pod. It's a ghastly trapped inside a metapod. At least it's, it's a good thing. It's, it's a good thing it's not a ghastly because I don't have any moves. Because all my moves, uh, all the Pidgey's moves are on um, normal type. So, as we all know, critical hit. Nicely done, Pidge. Keep going. Um, move, normal type moves can't hit ghost types, so that's lucky. But that was really odd. That was that was really odd. Pidgey didn't know a, a Metapod that had the sound effect of a ghastly. I wasn't the only one that heard that, right? Mmm, that's good cost of coffee. Nom 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 nom. Yay, pitch to level 12. Please learn a flying type move. Quick attack! No! <laughs> God damn it! Can always get what you want. Hey, you're not wearing shorts! Another one? Another one? But these guys come out of woodwork. Why is shorts so important? I didn't want to catch Spiro because um, Spiro actually does no peck <laughs> when you catch it in the wild instead of a pidge instead of Pidgey, which you think it would should learn. Um, that's probably gonna. No, he's gonna do Leer. Ow! I never like Leer. I always wear shorts, even in winter. Oh, you're nuts! You're crazy, man! You're crazy! I had a I had I had a friend. I have a friend. Whose dad used to wear shorts all the time. Oh, there's a lass. Oh, I should have I shouldn't have gone this way. There's the lass. That look you gave me, it's so intriguing. Time to sing along with the battle theme as I talk, cause it plays on just talking about this game. I'll do a thunder shot. Oh, because you died. He hit my cheeks. Gusts. Cause I think Oh whoops, I pressed the wrong button. Uh what I do? What I do? Do I just do I just do side attack? That's alright. Nidoran. Male. Kinda kinda looks like a rabbit. Got long ears. Well, okay, spiking back, but sure. Um See Pokemon teaches bad life lessons. You shouldn't teach your kids at the t age of 10 to jump off ledges. Actually, then again, it sounds like how Parkour was born. Right, here we go, back to where we were. And another trainer. You, you can fight my new Pokemon! Let's see how new they are. Oh, it's a bug catcher. And what a surprise! He has a Caterpie! Not new, kid. Oh, really? 1 HP. You're taking the P, Caterpie. I'm going to send up my old, own Metapod. Let's let's room next to the battle from the anime. Metapod, use Harden. 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 Uh, I'm going to stop now. Squid or Squid. How's everyone else doing? How's everyone else's Easter going? I'd like to know how you guys are going. How you, how you guys are doing? Right, patch of grass. Let's go catch some new Pokemon. Cause I think you can catch Pidgey. No, I don't, P P we don't want you, Pidgey. Cheeks, kill it. Yeah, nice stuff, Cheeks. See, that's the whole reason I caught Cheeks. So I can go into Mount Moon and take down every single Zubat I see. 
There it is, Spiro. So I might catch a Spiro. Because Spiro has Peck. I need Peck. Because Pidgey's not doing... <laughs> Pidgey is doing terrible on my team. It has no flying type moves whatsoever. And Spiro has a flying type move. No, don't kill it! Oh, one HP. That was close. I think I have two Pokeballs left, actually. Um, oh, and I have one. Okay, I just... Spirit's gonna be the only member of our team. The only new member of our team for a while. I really need to update the sidebar. I really need to update the sidebar. It should take, it'll, it'll take a little while to let me update the sidebar because I have to go into Photoshop and um, change it. Right, we're gonna name, name him Spiro. For that, I normally just go for Ro. Like, uh, uh, I could call it Roni. Roni, that, that's funny. Because my name's Roni. That that's that's better. I just I've just been suggested a better name for um for Spiro. I've just been someone's just given me a suggestion of I don't think it would fit though. Um can it fit? No, it will fit. There we go. We're gonna call it Flappy Bird. Eek! Did you touch me? No, I just walked straight past you. <laughs> I didn't even touch you, lass. There it is, Jigglypuff. This ping abomination is only good for one thing and one thing only. Putting your Pokemon to sleep using Sing. Which is the most annoying thing. And you know, put to sleep. Fan friggin' tastic. Oh damn it! And now Pikachu's been put to sleep. <sighs> God damn, I hate Jigglypuff. Look, and look, look, look at the sprite. Look at the sprite. It's so derpy. Like one eye is bigger than the other. Wake up, Leonardo! No! He was stupid puppets faster! Oh no! Oh. Okay, Pidge is useful. I take it back. Pidge, you are useful. Kill that thing, please. Thank you. Quizzle hit. Pidge, well done. I pulled good to level 8. So we should get some evolutions in here now. Nope. Nope, not yet. Oh, I forget. Metapod evolves at level 10. I don't think there's any more trainers though for a little bit. And we're back with a newly updated sidebar. That didn't take too long, <laughs> hopefully. Um, so yeah, now we're back. Uh, now we have our brand new team. This is the new setup, new setup for our team. We have Leonardo the Squirtle, Splits the Ratata, Pidge the Pidgey, iPod the Metapod, Pikachu, the, uh, Cheeks the Pikachu, and Flappy Bird the Spearow. And now here we are in our first proper dungeon, which is a very, very long crawl with many, many Pokemon. I should have bought some repels. I totally regret buying re not buying repels. But here we go, Mount Moon. <laughs> And thankfully, we're not busted, we're not... Uh, suspicious men are in the cave. What about you? Uh, what about me? Uh, am I suspicious? Do I look suspicious? Ho hopefully I don't. Fuck, I just said that Weedle. Go Cheeks! Actually, no, now's the perfect time to send... Oh, no, there's bug catchers in here. Okay, so now's the perfect time to send out Flappy Bird. Go Flappy Bird! Poison Sting, ow, not too bad. But now we can do some, we can actually do some damage. Let's go, peck, peck, peck. Yeah, listen to that, super effective. Super effective, come on, one more peck. Critical hit, oh no, come on. Yeah, there we go. Throw a rock at him. We're not in Safari Zone yet. 
My catcher is about to use Kakuna. That's K. We could use this opportunity to train up Flappy Bird. Team no, it's not Team Flappy Bird, it's Team Leonardo. Leonardo's the leader. You know, Splinter does machines. Pidge is cool but rude. iPod is a party dude. Uh, bunk catcher. You got me! Yeah, I did. I saw them. I'm sure they're from Team Rocket. <gasps> Team Rocket? Who the hell's Team Rocket? Yay! Potion, just what I need. Potion! And another free item. Already found TM12. What's TM12? Um, water gun. That's nice. You know me, I Ask Bide, I don't want Bide. I've got seven potions, I've got, I've got plenty. We're fine. Right. Come on, where's the Zubat? The Zubat should be coming up any moment now. Yeah, there we go! Just about, I was about to pick on a Pokemon trainer. A wild Zubat appears. Poison flying type. Very easy to take down with the if you have the right Pokemon, which is, you know, at this stage, Pikachu, which is an electric type. Um, has the move Leech Life, which takes away 2 HP, um, but gains 2 HP. First instance of, um, uh, what's it called? Life draining moves, like Absorb, and Cheeks Learn Thunder Wave. Awesome. So now we can paralyze Pokemon without having to, ah, go into a battle. What? I'm waiting for my friends to find me here. In the middle of a cave. Okay. Clefairy! Another Pokemon with a lot, uh, a very high um, defense. So, like Jigglypuff, takes a, takes a while to take him down. And they become quite annoying. Because they might have Sing, they might have um, Metronome. Mostly, most of them have Metronome. Which, and, uh, you know. Ah, oh, there's Sing, but does it affect Cheeks? Yeah. I always, I always get a little bit of pride when. Friggin' sing doesn't land. I, I have my like, guess. It's, it's, it's amazing. Because it's a really annoying move. Come on, keep paralyzing him. Come on, cheeks. Wave those cheeks around. Come on, cheeks. Let's go. Keep thunder shocking. Ah, pound. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Wasn't paying attention. Oh, dang those cheeks. Uh, it's okay. We can rush back to the Pokemon Center if need be. Um. Should be alright though. Um, so we're paralysed. Uh, Peg? Peg won't do that much. Ah, uh, pound! Ah, oh, no, Flappy Bird! Oh, Flappy Bird. You did good, Flappy Bird. Uh, listen to that iPod. Uh, and then we switch to Leonardo. Fell. Sing! Oh no, Sing! Oh, come on! How come Leonardo needs to be affected by Sing? That's just silly. How come, how come, why can Turtle sleep? Actually, how do Turtle sleep? Do Turtle sleep? You know, quarter of my team? But it's alright. Right, okay, let's go back to the. No! I wanna go heal, Zubat, go away. I hate you too. We got six. Team Rocket attacks Rudian citizens. <gasps> Team Rocket is always in the news. Wait, always in the news? Man, hello there! Have I got a deal just for you? I'll let you have a swell magic cup for just 500 Poke Pounds. What do you say? Only for 500? What a deal! How could I possibly lose? Yay! I got a magic cup. Do you want to nickname? What to nickname to magic cup? Uh... What should I call Magikarp? Let's go for... Name it Twat. Twat the Magikarp. I, I like it. That's, it's, it's a bit rude, but... Let's, let's call him Larp. I, I want to go for my original name of Larp. Oh, no, here's the item. I swear it was. Angelina Jolie! <laughs> That's a good name for Magikarp. That's Angelina Jolie. Right, further into Mount Moon we go. Let's go further into the hole. Ah, Zubat! Go away, Zubat, no one likes you. 
There's a, there's a fan theory going around that um, Voltorb, because it looks like a Pokeball, and everyone's like, oh, how can a Pokeball like be alive? That's just silly. There's a fan theory that I like to think is that because Haunter's eyes kind of like, look like the eyes of Haunter, people suggest that um, Haunter, uh, Voltorb, is actually Haunters that got stuck inside Pokeballs. And so to try and get themselves out, the Haunters like fire off elect electric type moves and explode <laughs> to try and get themselves out. So them, so Voltorb's using explosion and stuff like that. It's just a Haunter trying to, try to escape from its imprisonment in a Pokeball. <laughs> in a possessed Pokeball. I, I, I kind of like that theory over here. Yeah, this is, the, this is the cave where you get introduced to rare candies. Rare candies are sweets that, when given to your Pokemon, l level them up to the next level. So, um, like, instantly, without having to train them up. So, I might give that to Metapod just to help him evolve into a Butterfree. To um, iPod, to make him evolve into Butterfree. But I think he evolves at level 9? In uh, level 10 to Butterfree? So he needs a little bit more. Um, I could give it to Flappy Bird. Flappy Bird. Um, let's see how... I'll use a red candy. There we go. And Spinter's back! Yay! Welcome back, Spinter. Who's this? Go through this cave to get to Ruin City. Another bug catcher. What bug catchers doing in caves? There's no bugs in caves. Let's go to level 10. Right. We go down this cave. Oh no, I'd never do that. Oh no, it's a Paris. So, go down this little ladder. Walk down here. Right into another Zubat. So, we go up this ladder. And now, we finally get to meet the infamous Team Rocket. We, Team Rocket, are Pokemon gangsters. And so you like, what the crud? They're holding whips. They're, they're holding whips. What the crud? Like, wow, Pokemon just got seriously dark. They're Pokemon gangsters using whips. What, what the hell? I don't remember, like, looking back in your childhood, you don't remember Team Rocket ever being that dark. They were quite comical. But every grunt run around with a blooming whip. What the hell? That's, that's, that's making Pokemon a lot more darker. We don't, we don't want to do that. It's supposed to be a fun, light-hearted game. Like, hey, we're catching animals and making them fight for us. Making them fight for us. And making them faint. And then the wild ones just lie on the ground, twitching in pain, whilst you walk away to heal your Pokemon at a Pokemon Center for free. And you're, you know, you're imprisoning animals and keeping them in tiny little balls to carry around in your belt. It's a fun and happy game. Rocket, I blew it. Darn it all. My associates won't stand for this. Right. And I'll never do that. He, he did blew it. Where do babies come from in the Pokemon universe? Good question, Oliver. Um... <laughs> Well, when a mummy ride on loves a <laughs> loves a daddy ride on. <laughs> um, well, breeding in the Pokemon universe doesn't happen. Sorry, Pokemon come from eggs, which is a little bit odd when you think about it. Which is like, wh why do why do Pokemon come from eggs? Which, well, even if you do think about it, um, it's a little bit weird. But Pokemon, um, it Pokemon egg breeding when it was introduced in second generation, and um. And you took them to a daycare centre, you left your Pokemon in there for a while, came back to them and like, Hey, we found this egg randomly. We don't know how it got there, but it just happened to be there. Where your Pokemon were. And, um, so yeah. Daycare was also a good way of tra training up your Pokemon. Which we're actually getting introduced to when we get to Rudin uh, when we get to Rudin City. Eventually. Soon. It's another lass. It's not ish. Our oh, first days of a, of a grass poison type in the game. Because most of walking, in, um, mostly you know, walking into um, 
poison bug types, but now it's our first, you know, proper grass type, you know, besides you know, if he didn't start off with Bulbasaur, but still, um, and Oddish, as soon as their grass types are weak against flying types, which is good, but only problem is Oddish has the absorb move, which is a more powerful form of leech, uh, leech life, Oh, one HP, come on. Ow, absorb. Uh, I wish I had a quick attack, but it's alright. Puppy Bird's quite fast. What's my favourite Pokemon? What's, what's, what, what's your favourite Pokemans? My favourite Pokemans? Um, well, Squirtle was my first Pokemon, so... Yeah, that's, that's a, that's a favourite. Pikachu, because, you know, he's the mascot. Um, ow, Vine Whip. I don't like Bellsprout. Carp Carp. Carpy Carp. TMO1. Um, what's TMO1? Um, TMO1 is... Mega Punch. Oh, that's a good move. Um, I'm going to teach that to... Cheeks. Yay! Oh, never rocket. We're putting a big job here. Get lost, kid. See, your rockets went really dark and back in red and blue. They had whips. Which they did change, of course, in um second generation. Just made them a casual grunt. Uh, oh no! Confusion! Supersonic! Oh, come on, Pikachu! Come on, Cheeks! Oh, it hurt itself! No, Cheeks! No, Cheeks! Don't hurt my Cheeks! Come on! Yeah! Go Splinter! He's a radical rat! So, you are good. I am. That's the hidden item found sort of um, theme. Because I found an ether. Ether's always good to have, which is a PP recovery item. My cheeks hit well. iPod is my OP Pokemon. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. But he didn't learn. Then he learned um, iTunes, and then he, has to, then he has to keep updating, and so it didn't become that very well. Didn't become that good. Because everyone knows water beats rock. And so does paper. Um, what is my preference? Six, for example, grass, water, flying, electric, fire, and rock type Pokemons, as in main party. So what Pokemon do I normally choose for my main party? Um, I normally go for... Like to Pokemon that can cover all bases. So, for example, I choose Pokemon that have dual types. Um, I just go for anything, really. Anything that I like. Pokemon. Um, yeah, I just go for anything. I don't really mind what type. It's just if I, if I like the Pokemon, I normally keep it around on my team for a while. And um, yeah. Wow, shocked again. I only got 350 for winning. But what's this? <gasps> Leonardo is evolving. Leonardo evolved into War Turtle, and I need to update the sideboard again. Ah, oh, almost out. Two more floors. I'm almost there. Um, there's another Rocket Grunt. Can we get past him without us being seen? Or should we fight him? He hasn't seen us yet. Yeah, we'll fight him. Little kids should leave grown-ups alone. What? <laughs> Rocket wants to fight. So Raticate. Oh, it's this guy. I hate this guy. This guy's Raticate is a monster. Magical quick attack. Ow. Ow. Oh, look at that. Critical hit. One hit KO. Wow. Screw you, Raticate. Um, let's set up the new War Turtle. Let's go, War Turtle. Come on. Tackle. Ow. Okay, that's all right. Why did I decide to play blue 
with the old graphics compared to the one with the updated graphics. So why did I choose purple, red, and blue, then fire and leaf green? Um, ow, hyper fang, oh, I should healed. Oh no, oh, no, no, down. Oh, oh no, oh no. Um, there goes the, oh, there goes the, oh no. Oh, oh god, team's in trouble. Team's in, oh, team's in deep doo doo. Team is in deep doo doo. Um, I think I might lose. I think I might lose. Oh god. Um, I think I might lose. Crickle hit. Crickle tail whip. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. We can do this. Come on. That's it. That's it. That's it. No. No, no, no. no hyper thing. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, it's all down to Fluffy Bird. Go iPod. <laughs> oh god. Um, wow. Wow, that, that that escalated quickly. That escalated quickly indeed. And there goes iPod. Curse you, Apple. Um, I don't I don't think we could. Oh no, this might be it. This might be it. Hyper Fang, yeah, this is it. Oh, oh we lost. My first loss. Oh, Ronnie is out. Utable Pokemon. Ronnie blacked out. Wow, first loss. That was that Raikate is a like like I said even going into the battle. That Raikate is a monster. Like seriously, fudge that thing. Um, okay, we have one thousand and seventy-five. I'm gonna say we're gonna run back to um Viridian City. I should have used my potions. I just didn't. I just didn't. Uh, get rid of Bide. Get rid of Water Gun. Um, HP up. Oh, I can get rid of that. Okay, so that's now we've got some more money. Um, I have five potions. Did it say five potions? So I get five more. Five Pokeballs. Um, antidote. We'll get five. Um, I was going to end the let's play here actually because it's coming up to six o'clock. But um, I want to go back and beat that Raticate. I, I want to go kick its ass. Um, okay. Actually, let's buy some awakenings actually because sleep's getting quite annoying. And the sleep's getting quite annoying. Um. Okay, and just to be on the safe side, we'll be five more. We'll do uh, five more. That should do. That'll do. Right, got 15 potions, five Pokeballs. Um, yeah, let's go. Um, let's go back. Too, mother fudger. Little kids should leave grown ups alone. I'm not leaving you alone. Right, there's that Raticate. Come on. Come on, team. 
Come on, chat, root me on. Let's go. It's going to tell me, that's what it's doing. It's getting, it's getting my defense down so I can just do the hyper vent and kill me one go. You can play that game. Look at this hyper thing. Ow! 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 Oh! 26 damage in one hit! Okay, right, we've got enough potion to deal with him now. So let's deal with him. But it's not going to be enough to heal, and if he's going to. Okay, he's just tackle. Ow! Ow! Another tail whip. Come on, we can do this. He keeps doing tackle, which is. Ow! Critical hit! Oh, no, it wasn't critical hit. That's just a normal hit. Ow! Yeah! Yeah! Have it! Have it! Uh. I'm steamed, you're steamed, ah, oh, I'm steamed. You beat me the first time. Pokemon lived here long before people came. Yeah, you don't have to live anymore. Woo, we beat him. Well done, team. Right, hit up. Um, sorry, <laughs> I kind of missed a couple of questions there <laughs> in the chat. Hello, chat. Um. Why did I decide to play blue with the old graphics compared to the one that updated graphics? So I, I decided to play Pokemon Blue because it's the first game I ever played. It's... well, no. Correction. The first games I ever played was the original Tetris on one of, um, on an old, 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 old PC. Um, second game I played was Super Mario Bros. Deluxe for the Game Boy Color. But I got Super Mario Bros. Deluxe the same time I got Pokemon Blue, so I... Um, Pokemon Blue is technically, technically my second game I ever played, but it's still my I consider it my first and best game I've ever played, uh, and beaten by myself. Um, let's switch my pod um, Okay, right. Let's get through the rest of Mount Moon and run into more Zubats. But I chose just I just chose Pokemon Blue because it's you know. One of my favourite video games of all time. It's Pokemon has always had a special place in my heart because it's just it took ages to beat, um, and there were so many great stories you could tell while playing it. Like, oh, I had this time where Gary almost beat me, or uh, where Brock, where I beat Brock uh, with only with only a Caterpie, and there were so many things you could just so many great stories to tell while playing it, and you can play it with your friends. Like, you could trade Pokemon on the on the playground. Like, hey, oh, have you got this Pokemon? Yeah, I've got this Pokemon. Do I have it? Yeah, sure, let's trade. What Pokemon do you have? I've got all these. Ah, oh, great. It was one of those type of games where you could just, you know, communicate with people. <laughs> but then everything changed when the social network attacked. Team Rocket will find the fossils, revive, and sell them for cash! <gasps> you monsters! Wait a minute. Didn't that guy just. Didn't that guy in a Pokemon Center sell me a Magikarp? You're paralysed! How are you still going first? My cheeks deal, <laughs> deal critical hits. <laughs> hey, stop! I found these fossils, they're both mine! Not on your Nelly. Oh, Grimer! <laughs> Put your hands in the air like you just don't care! At number one, he has derpy eyes. One's looking upwards, one looking towards us. Number two, his mouth's open like, hey, hey, what's up? And he's got his hands in the air. He's like, he's putting his hands to the roof. He's raising the roof. Ow. Disable. Easy. Water gun. Oh, screech. Ow, my ears. The other reason I decided to do a Pokemon Blue Let's Play is because everyone on YouTube does um, Pokemon Fire and Leaf Green Let's Plays and randomizes and Nuzlocks. And originally my idea was to do a Nuzlocke, which means when your Pokemon get when your Pokemon faint, they die. But, uh, I thought that wouldn't be, it, it would be fun and interesting to see what happens and, um, but really, I just want to play the game for fun. I just want to go back and play the game. But yeah, I generally just want to go back and play the game for fun instead of, you know, doing it to, oh no, not tail whip, wrong button. Um, just to do it for fun. Oh, coughing, interesting Pokemon coughing. It's Sprite is actually wrong. The skull and crossbones above its eyes actually go below its face. They later change that in later Pokemon games, but, uh, yeah. 
With the official Ken Mori artwork for coughing for red versus, uh, for red and blue, um, actually is the right way up. Just in the Pokemon, in, just in the games, they had the skull and crossbones the wrong way around. Spiders made a little bit of a mistake. <laughs> Super nerd, right, awesome. Okay, I'll share. Got 300 for winning, awesome. We'll each take one. No being greedy. Um, okay. You want the dome fossil? Uh, no. You want the helix fossil? Now the helix fossil gives you Omanyte, whilst the dome fossil gives you Kabutops. Um, Omanyte is a rock, uh, water rock type, which is a, you know, good. It's, it's, it's an alright Pokemon type. Uh, actually they're both evolved into water rock types, but um, it's just all on preference. Really. Do, 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 do you like a little squid with a little shell on its back, or do you like um, a little bug? thing with pincers. So I like I like the bug thing with pincers, so I get the dome fossil. I'm actually coming up to the end. Alright then, this is mine. Far away on Cinnabar Island, there's a Pokemon lab. They're doing re they do research on regenerating fossils. Awesome! And now reach the end of Mount Moon! <laughs> Hooray! Just up this ladder and Boom! <laughs> With the skull and crossbones is coughing a pirate type. <laughs> and here we are in Cerulean City. What are you gonna say? That bush in front of the shop is in the way. There might be a way around. That bush? It's not a bush, it's a tiny tree. How can that be a bush? Also, why can't I get past trees? Grass and caves handed easily. Bike shop. Let's go in the bike shop. These bikes are cool, but they're way expensive. Really? How expensive are they? No, bikes are not that expensive. A plain city bike is good enough for me. You can't put a shopping basket on it on a on an MTB? What's an MTB? Hi, welcome to our bike shop. Have we got just the bike for you? One million Poke Pounds! Ain't nobody got time for that. Uh, so there's, this is the Syrian City Gym. A mysterious blue aura surrounds it. Ooh. Have you heard about Bill? Everyone called him the Pokemaniac. I think people are just jealous of Bill, though. Who wouldn't want to boast about their Pokemon? I like boasting about my Pokemon. Have you met Cheeks? Do you want, do you want, to, you want to pet my Cheeks? Give, give my Cheeks a little slap? Slide your hand along my Cheeks? Bill has lots of Pokemon. He collects rare ones, too. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't keep a straight face then. <laughs> That Bill, I heard that he'll do whatever it takes to get rare Pokemon. Whatever it takes, hey? <laughs> I have a blue house with a blue window. I have a girlfriend and she is so blue. I'm blue, double dee, double die, double dee, double die. Oh, look, there's the police. The people here are robbed. R r <laughs> are robbed? The people here were robbed. It's obvious that Team Rocket's behind this most heinous crime. Even our police force has no trouble with the rockets. <sighs> so, I think. Actually, there's one more thing I want to do before we end today. We, we, I think I'll end at. To, it, the time now is 6.13. I think I'll end at 6.30. So, there's one more thing I want to do. Because everyone knows what time it is. It's time to battle the rival. Let's battle Richar. Yo, Ronnie. You're still struggling along back here? I'm doing great. I caught a bunch of strong and smart Pokemon. Here, let me see what you caught, Ronnie. There he is. Rishar wants to fight. Sent out Pidgeotto. At level 18, we're a little bit under level. <laughs> um, we're gonna have some trouble here. Let's get the Thunder Wave. Uh, 
Uh, gust. Ow. Ow, oh, double ow. Okay, that hurt quite a bit. Three paralyzed, that's fine. Find a shot. Should have bought more potions. Ow. Come on. Ow. Six, come on. No, quick attack. No. Oh. Okay, chick is down. Chicks is down. Um, okay, just, just send out. Get my pod. Um, uh, let's send out Leonardo. Go, Leo. Fully paralyzed. Water gun. Yeah, turn out that fat bird. Look at it, it's fat. Why is Pichu so fat? Like a, can barely fly. Uh, oh, quick attack. Ah! I should have gone for quick attack myself. Uh, okay, actually, what all doesn't have quick attack? Never mind. I'm grow to level 10. I think I'm going to to level 18. Let's go, buddy. Come on. Abra. Psychic type. First psychic type of the game we, we have, we've come across. Um, not a lot can beat a psychic type, but it's okay. Abra only has one move at the moment, even though it's level 15, um, which is teleport. Which does absolutely nothing. So it's basically just a metapod uh, at this stage. Another teleport. Come on, let's go. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Critical hit. I should have actually swapped out. Gave, got, gave someone else the experience points. Ratata! Okay. Um, let's switch to Splinter. We're gonna get our butts whipped here. Ow! Uh, HP. Let's go. We're seriously underleveled, but we're still doing well. Um, let's send out Pidge, because I want to save Splinter for his. Ow! Hyper thing! Ow! 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 Kill Pidge. Another hyper thing. Oh, I missed. That's good. Um, quick attack. Oh, quick attack as well. Ow. Come on, Pidge. I need you. I mean, I know I'm replacing you soon once um, Fluffy Bird levels up, but still. Ow. Come on. We can do this. Don't die. No, oh, Pidge. No. Oh, Pidge. Um, let's, let's. I'm not going to be fast enough. Uh. I'm not going to be... Okay, let's send out Leonardo. Uh, what a gun. Come on, chat. Show support for the team. Let's go. Leonardo, I'm about to use... It still has a Bulbasaur. So his Bulbasaur still hasn't evolved yet. So that's why I'm going to switch to Fluffy Bird. It's level 17, so it's got one more level and it should evolve. Um... The final whip. Ow, that's going to do a lot of damage, even though I'm a little bird. Ow, they did 10 damage. That's okay. Right. Let's get some pecs in there. And a tackle. Ow. Come on. We well, can do that. That was critical hit. That was very nice. Well done, Flappy Bird. You could do a lit. No, Leech Seed. Okay. That's okay. Only one HP. That's fine. Another leech seed, really? And we win again. Oh no, one HP left. Oh no! Ah, I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, well done, team. Alright, defeated Richard. I don't know why I keep forget to use potions. I, I'm using potions, but I'm just using them at the wrong time. Take it easy, you won already. <laughs> Potion, you have this in the bag. Yes, I do. Yes, I do have it in my bag. <laughs> Take it easy, you won already. Only got 595. What? iPod is evolving! iPod evolved into Butterfree! iPod evolved into Spotify! Richard, hey, guess what? 
I went to Bill's and got him to show me his rare Pokemon. That. Had a <laughs> I swear there's an innuendo in there somewhere. Everyone keeps talking about Bill's rare Pokemon. Air quotations. It added a lot of pages to my Pokédex. I really did it now. After all, Bill was world famous as a Poké maniac. He invented the Pokémon storage system on PC. Since you're using his system, go say thanks. Well, I better get rolling. I'm smell you later. Looked at my kingdom. I was finally there to sit on my throne as the Prince of Bel Air. Eat with char. I say a job, a job well done, and a day well spent. Uh, we could go take on Nugget Bridge, but um, that'll take a long time. And I bet I, I, I want to save that for the next Let's Play because we we reached Cerulean City. We um, we beat Gary. We got through Mount Moon, beat Team Rocket in there. Hopefully we won't see them again. <laughs> uh, let's get five potion. <laughs> His rare Pokemon is old, but also huge. Yes, it is. Well, I think, uh, I think this is now is as good a time as any to um, end it there. Um, we got to, we went through Mount Moon, beat beat Richar, got to Cerulean City. Um, yeah, time to save and time to end it there for today. Thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on YouTube. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter to know when I'm, the next time I'm going to do a live stream. Um, and I hope to see you soon. I hope you all have a wonderful and great happy Easter. Um, eat loads of chocolate, you know, get fat, go to the gym later, burn it all off, or just get a lighter, burn it all off, or on that couple of matches. But, um, um, if, if in the world of Pokemon, though, you, you, you'd burn a lot of fat walking around, though, so it's, it's covered, so you should be fine. Um, but yeah, or get a bike, even though it costs a million pounds to get a bike. A million pounds to get a bike. That's just silly. Silly. Anyway, I've been the one and only, and there's nobody I'd rather be. Thanks for watching.